Surrounding the continent of Antarctica, the Southern Ocean makes up only 10% of the global ocean, but it plays an outsized role in the fight against climate change. It is one of the largest regional ocean carbon sinks for atmospheric CO2. This is partly due to Antarctic krill, the largest species within an order of small crustaceans at the center of the food web. Algae store carbon from the atmosphere during photosynthesis, and krill swarms feed on algae near the surface of the water. Then krill swim down to lower depths, and their carbon-filled waste drops down to the water at the bottom of the ocean. And when krill are eaten by predators, including humpback and blue whales, that carbon stays in their bodies for decades as a carbon sink, until they die, sink to the seafloor, and are consumed by deep sea organisms. In effect, krill are a giant conveyor belt, constantly moving carbon from the surface down. Swarms of krill can number in the trillions of individuals, and when you take their impact in the Southern Ocean as a whole, the carbon they store in the deep ocean is the equivalent of taking 35 million cars off the road every year. Unfortunately, krill and the species that depend on them are under increasing threat, both from climate change and fishing to produce luxury products, including animal feed for farmed fish and krill oil supplements. As a planet, we have to act to protect krill, the ecosystems they uphold, and their critical role in climate change mitigation. Krill are much more valuable in the ocean than out, but to protect them, we need to protect their home. To learn more, visit pewtrusts.org slash southern-ocean.